In this video, I'll cover how to use a de in Pro Tools and why you might want to. Okay, when we record vocals into a really nice condenser large diaphragm microphone, you often end up getting sibilance, particularly after you've EQ'd. What is sibilance? It's the sound in the voice that distorts and sounds harsh on the ear. DSers will fix that. And I'm going to show you how to insert one now and set it up properly. 23rd Street, Miami, Florida. So there's a big s on street and we're going to just lessen the harshness of the s sounds. And to do that, I'm going to go to my inserts and I'm going to look for uh, the dynamics effects and I'm going to go to Dyn3 or Din3 DSer. Here it is, and default it's targeting the 7000 hertz or 7 kilohertz frequency. It's got no range, so it's not kicking in. I'm going to push the range right down, and let's watch this DSer really, really on its harshest settings. 23rd Street, Miami, Florida. Okay, it's, it's just working on everything. So I'm going to move the frequency down a bit. 23rd Street, Miami, Florida. And then I'm going to move the range up. 23rd Street, Miami. Okay, it's catching the S there. 23rd Street, Miami. 23rd Street, Miami. Let's push that up. 23rd Street, Miami, Florida. 23rd Street, 20, 23rd Street, Miami, Florida. Okay, right there I can see on the S's at about 6.3 kilohertz, it's really pushing down harshly. Now, it sounds kind of like if you've got the range too high, you've got a bit of a lisp going on. But there's another trick to DSing, and that is you can turn it around if you do HF only and listen. 23rd Street, Miami, Florida. Let's take off the HF and listen to all the frequencies. So HF is just the high end, but we want to focus on all the frequencies. 23rd Street, Miami. And then we can work around. And we can really find a frequency where the S is occurring the most. Yeah, around there, around 6.2, 6.3. It's really kicking in. And then we push the range up so it's only getting the S's. 23rd Street. A bit more. 23rd Street. Still a bit harsh. 23rd Street, Miami, Florida. And you'll know it's working. 23rd Street, Miami, Florida. When that line jumps down only on the t, the k, the ch, and the s, then you've got a good de -esser. And I think right about there, by using the listen, 23rd Street, Miami, Florida. to hear just the high-end frequencies you're removing, by moving around the frequency range to find the harshest sound of the s, and also by playing around with the range to increase or decrease how much it's working on your audio, we get a really sweet spot with the de -esser. Remember, the more range you add, the more it's reducing frequencies, so you want to kind of set that into its sweet spot, but you can really get audio sounding good, particularly when you've EQ'd the high end by setting up a de -esser correctly. And maybe you want to learn how to compress while you're at it. Well, I have a Pro Tools compressor tutorial, and it's on your screen right now. Go and watch it.